Mrs. Happen, uh, you have made three films in Italy, haven't you? I have. The first one was uh, Roman Holiday, second one War and Peace, and then now I'm still making The Nun Story. And, and Roman Holiday, wasn't it the first film of success you had, wasn't it? Yes, it was really the first big picture I had ever done. I had played some smaller parts in England where I was given my start. And as you know in life, mm. one thing comes the other. And uh, Roman Holiday was really my first really big picture. So coming back here to Italy now must be even emotionally a good thing for you. It's always a wonderful thing and I feel very much at home here. It's, it's really like coming home. Both my husband and I feel that way. Is it We, the Italians they like? Or? Yes, I like them tremendously. They're open hearts and so They on. are and they're very friendly and I don't know, I, we seem to get on mm. very well. <laughs> and um, you, are, you, are, you are here uh, even as tourists sometimes in Italy? Without I, I have not yet been here as a tourist, oh. no, alas, because I would really like to see a great deal more, mm. because I find that my friends who come here for two or three weeks know much more about the, the, the beauty spots yeah, and, yeah. and the historical things to see than I do. On the other hand, I, I know something perhaps which they don't, and I know more about life and work and people in Italy than most because I have the great good fortune to be working with them every day. And I love the part. It really is, it's, it's a terribly good part. It's, I would say, an exceedingly difficult one, difficult for me anyway. And... Um, have you read the book? Oh, before? many times. No, I mean, before you, you knew that you could just have this Well, part. it actually, um, it, it was sent to me Uh, for me to read mm. and whether I would be interested in it um, to do a picture. Actually, it's rather wonderful the way I got it. My sister-in-law, that is the wife of my husband's brother, had read it and, and loved it very, very much. And when she saw my husband, who was passing through New York, she told him what a beautiful book it was and that he should read it immediately. I, I think primarily she was what we know as a perfectionist yeah. in everything she did. And although she was a perfect nurse, she herself never thought she was perfect enough as a nun. I see. And, and, and therefore was, I suppose you could say, honest enough mm. to acknowledge it. And, and anyway, she couldn't go on living that way. Um, in a way, you can call that an imperfection because one has to know that there is no such thing as perfection. You have to live with your own faults. It was very hard work and under very exceedingly hot conditions, may yeah. I say. For But how long? We were there for uh, five weeks, six weeks. And you worked all the day? Yes, we worked every day. <laughs> under the hot sun? Yes. Which, Was of course, the... the, the The colonials and the natives don't do. Whenever it's too hot, they get they go in the shade and stay out of the sun. But, you had But we were shooting a picture, so we Ooh. had. <laughs> they thought we were quite mad. Yeah. And um, now, when, when the picture is going to finish, you know, you don't. It will finish, I should imagine, around the 15th of June. And then you're going back to then, America. Then I go back to California to join my husband. And I go straight into another picture to be directed by my husband, called Green Mansions, for MGM. Then I hope you come to Sweden. Oh, we would love to come to Sweden. We've for a long time wanted to, but really it is every time it's time and work which stops us from going. But one day we're really going to just decide to do it. <laughs> 